What's up guys, my name is Jason, and I upload battle for 4 videos and I post them on YouTube. Here, just to get the formalities out of the way, my gameplay is going to be using the Recon class with Smoke Grenades, Motion Mines, C4, MP443 with no attachments I believe as my sidearm, and an SKS with a uh, PSO 4x zoom, the laser sight, heavy barrel, angled grip. I do play on full ultra on PC, 1080p. I have a GTX 780 3GB and an i7-4770K. Um, and a, that's pretty much the only important stuff. And 16 gigs RAM, I guess, and an SSD Evo series. But anyway, here I'm going to give uh, tips on using the SKS in particular just because I think the RFB and the MK11 mod are not that great. Or at least I suck with them because they're. I actually like the RFB a lot, but I just am really bad with it. It's just low rate of fire. Anyway, DMRs or designated marksman rifle, I believe. Someone correct me if that is not the case. Are really good. They're good for counter sniping. They work very similar to the A94 from Battlefield 3 or the SKS uh, and the M417, like the, those battle rifle type weapons from Battlefield 3. Very high rate of fire for a sniper, semi auto sniper. Uh, fairly accurate with a heavy barrel, um, good hip fire for how much damage it does, and is fairly powerful, uh, clocking in at around like 35 damage a shot. About I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. I don't go on Simthic that often, if at all, because uh, I think Simthic is a load of crap. Because um, even if someone got it wrong, I feel like even though the information is probably right, if the information were to be wrong, everybody would just believe it. Like I. Like the SAR, for example, um, before Synthic even came out, I felt like SAR was going to be one of the top rifles in the game, just because it catered to my play style, where I am a little bit more defensively, I play a little bit more conservatively. Uh, I knew it had a, a low rate of fire, I wasn't exactly sure. I felt like it was one of the lower ones. I felt that it was very accurate, even though in the game it's supposed to have like the same accuracy as the other guns, but that just doesn't seem to be the case. Likewise, the Scar H, I put a heavy barrel, which is in theory gives it the most range and most accuracy out of all the game of the other assault rifles. But that in Synthic it doesn't seem to be the case, even though I don't attach a heavy barrel, and I do really well with it. Uh, but I attach the heavy barrel to the M416 sometimes and the SAR21, and they perform about as accurate as a Scar H stock, like with no barrel at all. So. That's why I don't really care too much about stats, just because people start to believe the stats, and I'd rather test out things for myself and use that as more of a confirmation. Just wanted to get that out of the way, just because I feel like people that just blindly believe whatever they read or hear is just that that's just not good. Because I mean that's how religion works, bro. So anyway, um, I'm I I like the SKS. I. I haven't really played the Recon class a lot because I've been abusing the Assault class just because Assault class is pretty much the best class in um, Conquest modes. That and Engineer I think are the two most important. Those support does play a lot. Um, big role. But now that mag dumping isn't around, it's not as prevalent as it once was. But I digress. Anyway, so um, the SKS in Conquest Large in particular is really good if you play a more supportive slash like defensive role you can pick people off if you tap fire slowly if they are standing still though if they do move it is going to be a little bit more difficult um one thing i like to note or a couple of things i'd like to gloss over though is the gadgets uh there are plenty you get like that binoculars that can lock onto things which is really useful it's kind of like having a portable soap flam but more importantly it's like having a pair of binoculars for yourself with infrared um so that's good, but what I want to talk about are the tugs, the so flam, and the spawn beacon because when you die and spawn, so long as no one has destroyed them or the environment has destroyed them, they will be persistent, which means that like, unlike Battlefield 3 where when you spawn on your spawn beacon, um, the spawn beacon disappears, uh, or if you place another spawn beacon it disappears, in Battlefield 4 the case seems to be, though I'm not sure if this is, uh, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, it could be a glitch, but uh, if you die and you place a spawn beacon and then you die and you spawn on that spawn beacon, uh, it won't disappear. Likewise, it's for the tugs and the soflant, though you can only have one of each. And when you switch out your gadget while it's still up, uh, everything seems to be fine. Everything stays. So, like, if I say for, I have motion mines and tugs, I place the tugs down at my base or, like, near a, a flag near home, and then I die and I spawn with motion mines and C4 instead of the tugs. And speaking of C4, I get a nice uh, little tank kill with a C4 right here. Uh, Recon's good anti vehicle class, by the way, guys. Um, the sof. The 
Tugs will stay there, and I'll have Motion Mines in C4, which is awesome, because then, in theory, if whenever we die, like, I'll have a Soflam pretty smartly placed by my base, uh, so they don't, like, base rape us at, like, a BNA on Dawn Breaker, for example. I'll have uh, a spawn beacon maybe on a build on a rooftop, or, like, uh, one of the first stories of a building or second story, just because those are good places to have it. And then I have Tugs kind of, like, uh, on the C bridge, and then I'll have Motion Mines in C4, so, like, I'll have five gadgets persist persistently working so long as someone destroys them and when they get destroyed or you accidentally deploy another one just deploy again with um, that gadget it's uh, pretty awesome um, so yeah um, for field upgrades I think I use shadow just because shadow is pretty good I, I like it first of all the name is badass and second of all I think it has sprint and sprint is the most important thing to me and everything else I could care less about just because um, spotting and unspotting I can get cover ammo I can always just get it from support player so anyway, um, the heavy barrel on the SKS is pretty good. Uh, you, when you shoot at about uh, maybe 100 rounds per second, 110 rounds per second, or if you tap it as fast as you can, your mouse, or click it rather, um, your bullet deviation will be way off just because that's the nature of the heavy barrel. However, that being said, if you do uh, let your recoil reset, let your spread go back down to around zero, your bullets will be pretty spot on. It'll be probably about as accurate as the Scar H with the heavy barrel, uh, but without the recoil because you can't afford to run angled grip, whereas a weapon like the Scar H, if you run heavy barrel and an angled grip, the recoil is still pretty... It's still pretty hefty. Um, one of the stronger recoil weapons. But anyway, the SKS is really great for close quarters with the laser sight. Um, just because it does reduce hip fire spread by 33%, and because it does like a... Th uh, like 40 damage it seems. It seems to be like a solid 3 KO in uh, close quarters to the chest if you're running uh, even defensive it seems like that. That's why I say like 40. Uh, that's good. Uh, two shot kill to the face at basically all ranges. Um, even though it does, it does it does pack a punch, it does drop off to a, a 4 to 5 hit K to the hit to the head, not the head, to the body at, long, at longer ranges, maybe like 60, 70 meters. And it does get it a little bit difficult to hit people, even though I am hitting them, but that's cause mostly because they're standing still. When they're moving targets, it does get more difficult, so you have to be weary of that. Um, another thing I would like to note about the SKS is the recoil, because the recoil actually goes uh, vertically. I don't really notice any side-to-side, um, -side, the horizontal recoil, just because uh, if there is any, it's really low. And because of that, I still opt to go for the angle grip, because vertical recoil can be a bitch in this game. Uh, you can opt to use like a Cobra Sight or a Coyote Sight or Iron Sights uh, if you go for the Ergo Grip just because I feel like it's a hip firing beast. You can actually just go into like a domination match, put on Laser Sight, slap on an Ergo Grip and you have some pretty tight hip fire. You have hip fire comparable to an Assault Rifle which doesn't seem like much but if you have a quick trigger finger um, you will take out people easy. Uh, even though you won't have, you'll have a lower like damage per, damage per second uh, if you round a corner, you can three shots isn't that hard because the thing is when you shoot someone, there's like this view kick or you get like you flinch when you're shot. So uh, if you shoot them, they're not going to be able, they're not going to be able to shoot you as accurately as they were able to before. Um, so yeah, recon class, fun class. I recommend it if you play like defensively. Uh, I'm not too big on the bolt actions because um, I think the tracer dart is a little bullshit. The tracers are a little bullshit. Bullet drop seems way more than it was in BF3, and bullet velocity seems way less. I am not hitting people at all with bolt actions. I and I'm not I'm not saying I'm a great sniper. I'm I'm probably about an average sniper at best, uh, but I'm pretty good with the DMRs. Um, so yeah. Now, I guess we can talk about Conquest and how Recon plays in this. Recon is really good if you're playing with squad mates that you actually communicate to. I did not have my mic plugged in, so I were not I was not talking to these people. Uh, but on that note, if you guys want to play with me, just uh, send me a, a comment or a comment or um, send me a PM, it doesn't matter. Um, you want to capture, on Zombreaker in particular, you want to capture the C flag, that is the bridge. Uh, e Usually, I usually I prioritize that after the bridge is blown up, just because um I mean, not the bridge, but like the pipeline blows up, so you don't get butt fucked by potatoes. Um, and also I would hold the two flags that are closest to home, so in my case it'd be A and B, and then you know I'd go after C. 
Always pay attention to your minimap because the minimap is your friend, especially when you have motion mines and things like that. Um, promoted! Um, if you guys don't know what that's from, check out Battlefield Friends. I just recently discovered it because of my friend on Battlefield. Sorry that I was talking weird. I heard stick at the door and it's like 2 a.m. right now. Um, yeah. Um, all, another thing I would like to talk about is the MP443. Man, the sidearms in this game are really good. I mean, I was really disappointed with the sidearms in Battlefield 3. I felt like even though everybody used the Rex, the Rex is a load of shit. Um, the M19 wasn't that good. It was only like a 3 at KO. Um, the single shot pistols, the semi-automatic pistols weren't that great. And then the uh, automatic pistols, the, G the, the G18 was pretty okay, but it was pretty awful at long ranges. But in this game, like, the semi-automatic pistols are freaking beast. Like, I was using the P226, and I unlocked a, a, a decent amount of attachments. I think I have the holosite, like a suppressor, and a laser sight on it. So, like, it's really cool to use. The uh, second, the M9, I'm not too crazy about. In fact, I don't even see the reason why you should use the M9. I think it has better accuracy, but... Uh, I think it has less bullets. No, that's not true. I, I just feel the P226 better just because I don't feel like going through the unlocks of uh, the M9 only to get a slightly more accuracy over the P226. So I'm using that um, to the, the third pistol that you unlock. Oh, damn it. I forgot what the name of it. It's like the C... Okay, it's I, I forget exactly what the name of it is, but uh, it's also really, really, really good. Uh, let me look it up right here, actually. The QSZ92... Uh, it has like 16 bullets in a clip or 18 bullets in a magazine or whatever you want to call it. I don't give a shit. Um, and it's, it shoots really quick. Like if you, when you shoot it, it just does so much work. And now I, I unlocked the MP443 and I want to start using the Shorty 12G when I unlock it. But the MP443 was always good. Always a good pistol in every game I played in the Battlefield series. And look, right here, it just absolutely dominates people. I just get two people right there and then I get a third guy because it, it shoots so fast. It has really low recoil. The P226 has a lot of horizontal recoil, but the MP443 has like a circular recoil. So like it'll like go up and then like to the left and then back to the right and stuff like that. So like it works really really well. Uh, the pistols in this game, I'm I'm really really happy about. They they did a really good job on it. Assault rifles, all the other weapons I'm not too crazy about. I feel like the assault rifles they got like the range balance really well, but they didn't get damage and accuracy range um, models right. Like the um, I feel like the A. I think I feel like the uh, M16A4 because it's a burst fire. I feel like they should have more delay between the bursts, uh, but keep it at 34 damage at up 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 close. So like it'll be a 3 km on very close ranges, so it'll reward you for using a burst, burst fire rifle. Um, or what they could do is keep their rate of fire the same, like the, the amount you can tap it, and keep it at 33 damage and one bullet doing 34. Uh, like so, like it's a variation model. So like. Um, so like it'll be a th it'll be a one burst hit, uh, kill most of the time, just like how snipers are. And likewise, I feel like the DMRs, which are making better, is they should give them a damage model of 46 damage and have a multiplier to the chest of 1.2 uh, for bolt actions. And bolt actions that do 100 damage will do 100 damage up to like 40 meters to the chest. And then when they're up close, it'll still be able to OKO them. And then the DMRs will be two at KOs potentially in close quarters, just because the DMRs like there's no reason not to use the AK5C. Uh, over a DMR if you're playing like engineer or something like that just because um, you can kill people and if, if you slap on a heavy barrel and like a sight that you like like I personally prefer a four times zoom I'm not too crazy about coyote and stuff like that but those are good too uh, you can basically pick people off in the same sense that you can use it with the DMR um, and likewise I feel like the range and accuracy should be changed so the M416 I think should be the standard like 28 accuracy or whatever it is even um, because that's what it says on Simthic. If that, were, if that, I'm assuming, and under the assumption that that number is true, then the Scar H should have like an accuracy of maybe 40 or 36, and then an ac a range of 42, and then the Sar 21 should have an accuracy of 32, and then a range of maybe 36, because it has a lower rate of fire, does less damage, but has good range, and then the AK should have maybe slightly lower damage, maybe it does a. Uh, um, 23 damage with a multiplier of 1.1 for assault rifles to the chest up close. That way, you know, um, the multipliers are important, guys, because that, that basically multipliers remedies I need for that. And then anyway, it should have an accuracy of like maybe 28 or 26, the accuracy of the AK, and then range of um, like 30 or maybe 28. And then uh, they, like that's the way I feel like the gun should have been done, but that's just me because um, all the all the guns are pretty much the same, barring the rate of fire and the recoil. 
because uh, like this, the um, Scar H you're gonna be using for long range. The M416 is the same weapon basically. Okay, no, the SAR-21 is a better comparison than the M416. SAR-21 is basically like a long range M416 with lower rate of fire, and the M416 is just a faster fire uh, uh, SAR-21 because the SAR-21 will always lose to the M416 in close quarters. But that's just me. Uh, feel free to disagree. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. But anyway. Um, so here we fought valiantly. I tried my, my tried my hardest, uh, trying to see four guys, trying to hide in the smoke, and it didn't quite work because I didn't see. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's pretty much it. Uh, I know I went on a rampage of talking about everything, but I just wanted to get everything done. Um, so next video I'm probably gonna upload talking about more about the DMRs and maybe the assault rifles a little bit more, but like actual things that are happening instead of uh, theory coming up with different theories of how things should work. So anyway, usually I'm a good pilot. This one I was just dicking around just because uh, I knew that the game's over. We lost. Pretty close game. We were down like 200 tickets. We only lost by like 86, which is not that much considering I was a sniper. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for next time. Um, if you guys want to play with me, I do have Skype. I do have a teen speak that my friend uses. Uh, so add me on Battlelog. My name is Katz and Jace. Um, yep, I play a lot and I will see you guys next time.